A popular social media post claims that deputy leader of the Nobel Prize Committee, Asle Toye, said that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the biggest contender for the Nobel Peace Prize. Toye, who is on an India tour, attended a roundtable discussion in New Delhi on 14th March 2023. At a media interaction after this conference, he praised India and particularly Modi, appreciating the Prime Minister's role in stopping Russia from using nuclear weapons during the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. Following the statement, multiple prominent news agencies including Hindustan Times, The Times of India and Mint shared articles reporting this statement. ABP hosted a TV debate on the prospects of Modi winning a Nobel Peace Prize in the context of Toye's statement. However, neither during his talk at the conference nor during any of his interviews to Indian media agencies did Toye explicitly say that Modi is a top contender for the Nobel Peace Prize. In fact, during one of his media interactions when he was categorically asked about this, Toye made a generic statement that any leader should aspire to receive the Nobel Peace Prize as they should try to do enough for peace in the world to deserve this award. Also, the statutes of the Nobel Peace Prize enforce secrecy with respect to the details of the prospective candidates. Details of nominees and nominators are generally not revealed until after 50 years. The website of the Nobel Prize also rules out speculations with respect to any contender and emphasizes that the committee does not announce the names of nominees to the media or to the candidates themselves. So it is highly unlikely that Toye or anyone else serving on the committee would make such speculative statements about someone being a top contender for the Nobel Peace Prize. Business Standard reported that Toye denied the claims made by the media in this regard while talking to ANI. As Asle Toye did not endorse Prime Minister Modi as the top contender for the Nobel Peace Prize, this post is fake. When you come across a piece of news that seems too ridiculous to be true, don't leave things to doubt. Run searches on Google and Yandex and weigh out the true and false of the situation for yourself by looking at the facts. But first of all, before you hit that forward button, pause.